Hey everyone, uh, it's it's Celador here. Um, I, I want to take a minute and, and talk to you guys a little bit about hippies. And um, I, I just recently graduated from University of California at, at Santa Cruz. And for those of you who don't know, that that's sort of like a hippie haven. Um, it, it's it's kind of crazy there actually. Um, coming out of high school, I was I was a pretty liberal guy, and, and so I thought I'd fit right in. But but nothing turned me off more to to that kind of extreme left, um, you know, liberalism, hippie bullshit that, than the student body at, at this university. I mean, it was it was just absurd, the bullshit that was fucking spraying out of their mouths. Um, so you know, I just had a few points that I wanted to discuss. You know. The things that these hippies say that that just really fucking gets me going. Um, the first is is trees, and and we had um, a little problem with with people that uh, tree sitters is what they're called, and they come and they camp out in, in trees that are being planned um, to be cut down to make room for like a building, God forbid, or, or something like that. And you know they they set up camp up there, and they're there for a while, and. And then, you know, when, when people want to finally go ahead and get forward with their plans and they have to get these people out, they, they like, throw poo at them and shit. They throw, like, their own fecal matter at, like, the people that are trying to get them down. And, and, and people have to, like, hire a guy who, who will go up in, in a nearby tree and he'll, like, swing over and grab them and bring them down. I mean, it's, the whole, the whole process is just fucking absolutely disturbing. And... And, and, and whether or not you agree with, with cutting down trees or, or not is really not the issue I have. The, the point I want to make is that if you're a hippie and your main goal in life is to save as many trees as possible, sitting in, in one tree, you know, uh, you know for, for like a year and then having it be cut down anyways half the time is, is not the best way to go. Why don't you, you put those resources, um, you know, those years of time that you spent sitting up in a fucking tree and, and, and put it towards something like, you know, finding a plausible alternative to lumber or paper. If you found something which we could use for, for both of those um, products that I just mentioned, um, instead, of, instead of cutting down trees for them, you'd be saving probably five billion times as many trees a year that you're saving right now sitting in one. Uh, um, th the next thing I, w I want to talk about is, is something that really pisses me off. Um, hydrogen cars. Um, pe people, you know, this sounds great at, at face value, you know, hydrogen is, is the most common element in the, in the universe and um, it's, it's highly flammable and, and, you know, wow, it's just like a fuel that's never going to run out. Well, um, first off, hydrogen's extremely difficult to produce, you know, um, outside of, of going into outer space to like a star and, and, and like, you know, putting it in like a plastic Ziploc bag and bringing it back here. Um, the way that they do it right now, most of the time, is to separate water and oxygen in, or separate water into hydrogen and oxygen through electrolysis. And the, the, the problem is, you use electricity and you separate hydrogen and oxygen, and when you burn it, they come back together and produce water. So your, your net total reaction is actually, it takes more energy to, to split water into hydrogen and oxygen than, than you get back from burning it. So we might as well just use that fucking electricity to, to power a car or something. And, and, you know, I'm going to go into electric cars in a, in a second, but here, here's the other thing. If you did find a way to, to get hydrogen not from water, um, you know, to just bring in, you know, hydrogen from, from outside the earth or, 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 or you know, like from, from organic material or something like that, and, and, and you burn it, you're producing water vapor. And, and guess what? Water vapor isn't like a fun, you know, you know, we think of water as, as such like a, you know, great, um, the universal solvent. It's what, it's what got us here. It, all life needs water. Um, the, the problem is that water vapor is a, is a more potent greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. So, 
if you start introducing new water vapor in the air, you're going to enhance the greenhouse effect. You're going to speed up global warming. If you took all the gasoline engines in cars right now and replaced them with hydrogen fuel cells, you would literally cook the earth faster. Like, get this through your fucking head. Um, so, so, so hydrogen is, is not a realistic alternative. To, to gasoline, and, and don't ever think it is, I mean, unless your intention is, you know, to help global warming, in which case, you know, go right ahead, um, and, and that, you know, on that note, um, electric cars is another thing that, that hippies love to talk about, um, you know, electric cars, they, they're emissionless, they, they produce, um, they produce no pollution at all. The problem is, how the fuck do you think you get the electricity to charge your electric car? By turbines spinning away in a fucking power plant, you know, powered by fossil fuels down the street. You, you just, you have got to be borderline fucking retarded to think that electric cars do not produce emissions. Electric cars require electricity. Electricity requires a power plant. Power plants at the moment require fossil fuels. Um, and, and, and that's kind of, uh, you know, a good segue into what I want to talk about next, which is, which is power plants. Um, we, we have, we need to bring back nuclear power, straight up, okay? Um, right now, um, no nu nuclear power plants are, are being built or planned mostly because of dumb fucking hippies that don't understand the first thing about physics and about the nature of, 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 of radiation and, and radioactive material. Um, nuclear power is clean, okay? It's non-polluting. It can solve our energy problem forever, okay? It's, it's easy to, um, you know, it's, it's e fission is easy, okay? It, it, it's easy for us to do, and, and it's clean, and the only byproduct is nuclear waste. And, and everyone's like, oh, nuclear waste, nucle you know, nuclear waste, that sounds so terrible. Um, well, guess, guess what? Nuclear waste is just elements emitting, you know, radiation. Uh, they're shooting off electrons or, or like, you know, a hydrogen nucleus. Um, and, 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 you know, radi radiation, you know, guess what else produces radiation? That's right, the sunlight. When you go out on a nice, beautiful, sunny day, you're getting hit by radiation, exposed to radiation. Um, g guess what else, uh, you know, is radioactive? The Earth, actually. Most of the Earth, actually. You, you all know that the center of the Earth is, is molten. Well, guess, guess where the energy to heat the center of the Earth comes from? Radioactive decay. The center of the Earth is highly radioactive, okay? And it doesn't penetrate the crust because radiation is stopped by, by substance, by material. Most radiation is stopped by just a little bit of material, in, you know. And, 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 and so, you know... Taking radioactive waste from a power plant and digging a, a giant hole and burying it in Nevada is like putting trash in a fucking trash can, okay? Uh, there's radioactive waste buried beneath the Earth's crust. If we bury more radioactive waste there, it's not gonna fucking matter, okay? 99% of the universe is, is radioactive, emitting radiation at all, all times, the sun, the earth, everything around you. Um, th this computer screen right now is, is emitting a tiny amount of radiation that's interacting with a tiny amount of atoms in my brain and in my head, but guess what? It's not enough to make any noticeable difference. Uh, like, radiation... Radiation... People need to fucking learn about radiation.